Hi, Patrick here from How Cheeto Will View. And it's Tuesday. And that means I'm going to bring something I haven't done in a while. Wow, I think it's been three weeks since I've done a library haul. Um, yeah, I can't tell you why. Just haven't really been up to it. Last couple times I went in there, it was pretty dry. It's been pretty picked over by the resellers. So, um, but I went down there early today. I said, you know, I haven't been down there in three weeks, so I felt like I needed to go. So, uh, I did. And, um, yeah, there's a lot of resellers there. Um, not as much as in the past. Um, so, I was expecting bare bones. It's just like I had last time. Um, but I was pleasantly surprised. And they had oodles and oodles and oodles of stuff. Um, yeah. Now, what was missing was the new releases that the library puts out. I only was only, only able to get two of those. Um, but that's what happens, right? But I found a lot of old classics. Uh, some One, I think, I, one I already know I have. But I got it just for the, you know, the Mark from Horror thing, you know, for, for somebody else. Uh, so I picked up that. Uh, factory sealed. I'll show that to you in a second here. And, uh, but yeah, what the, the selection was pretty outstanding, actually. I do believe, based on what I saw, it looks like someone had pretty much dumped their entire film collection. They had a lot of movies there. Uh, the new, the next bag sale is November 22nd. I actually got a date for that. I wasn't going to be caught by surprise this time. So, uh, that being said, let's see, what day is it? That'll be a Monday, a Monday the 22nd. So I will be first in line, and I'll be bringing my own bag, and I will be doing damage for $6. But for today, let's talk about what I got today. So I actually got a few things today. Um, uh, first thing, um, I, already, I, I really do believe I have this. I just don't know where it's at. I have to double check letterbox to make sure I do have it. But I do think I, I know I do. So I just got this for, uh, you know, for gift purposes, basically. So I, I got a factory sealed edition of Sleepy Hollow. Now, this is my favorite Tim Burton film right here. Uh, one of my favorite Johnny Depp movies. Uh, I love this movie. This movie is absolutely awesome. Um, means classics, the masterpiece, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, this is a tremendous movie, and like I said, it's factory sealed. Um, no one, no one watched it. So, um, yep. So we're off to a good start, right, kids? As I was getting ready to go, as I was getting ready to go, uh, a gentleman came in and he um, he said that he had uh, he wanted to donate some some DVDs, and the the, the lady running the store said, okay, yeah, bring them on in. I was hoping that he'd be bringing in like a couple of boxes full of movies, but um, no, he brought in like five or six. But one thing that caught my eye was something I know I didn't have. And speaking of Tim Burton, The Corpse Bride. So I picked up The Corpse Bride uh, for a dollar. Uh, never watched it, never seen it, never owned it. So now I do. So that was fortuitous. Um... Next up is one of the two movies that I got um, from recent releases. Um, this is from the library. This is uh, it's an old football movie called um, let's see, Twelve Mighty Orphans with Luke Wilson. Uh, I saw previews for this. I'm not sure if it got a theatrical release. Probably saw it on streaming or whatnot, but it, it was a new recently released film. So this is only the one of the two that I got. Uh, see the leaf right there that I got that uh, the library donated the resellers got the rest so Yeah, that happens That sucks, but I got at least I got one copy and Then the second thing I got from the library which sort of surprised me um, It was there, but I was glad it was and that is the forever purge Out of the what are the best purge movies yet? Yeah, they're, and they're doing a TV series, too, if they haven't already started it. So, yep, this is the Forever Purge. Uh, next up, 
I got some Japanese animation. I got some, um, I got the second season of The Slayers. For two bucks. This was two because it was a, a, a season set. So The Slayers. I've actually never heard of this. So I was like, okay, uh, why not? You know, I'm all about the animation. So, uh, yeah, anybody who knows me knows that. So, um, pretty excited to get this. So, second season of The Slayers. And then some older classics. I have to double check, make sure I have them. I know I've seen them, but I'm not sure if I own them. And, if, and the reason why I got these is because I do like them. I did like them. And one of the first movies I got was The Bone Collector with uh, Denzel Washington and Angelina Jolie. This was a fun movie. I actually saw this in the theater when it came out. I actually read the book. And um, it had a short-run TV series, which I really questioned. I'm like, why would you, how could you make that into a series? It fits more like a book, so to speak. Um, it would been very hard to do this as a TV series. When your main protagonist is basically lying in bed, can't move. Um, you know, not not without, you know, tremendous help. Um, but, yeah, I really enjoyed the movie. This movie is a, a good mystery. And uh, I liked the, how they did the ending. Okay. Okay, next up is some sci-fi cheese. Uh, actually, I was really happy to find this. Um, Python. <laughs> uh, actually, this is actually a lot of fun. This is actually a lot of fun. Um, Casper Van Dien's in there. Uh, and Robert England, you know, from Starship Troopers and, uh, uh, Sleepy Hollow. And, um, Robert England from, uh, V and, uh, from Nightmare on Elm Street. And, um... I think he did some Anaconda movies too. Yeah, he did. He did Anacondas too. I guess he's, I guess he's glad to get away from from Nightmare from uh, from Elm Street. Uh, this is actually a lot of fun right here. Um, I saw this on when I had cable. It was on demand, and I picked it up and I watched it. And I was like, okay, this uh, that's not bad. And then I um, saw the previews for it and whatnot. And so, you know, I saw for for the second one, I think Boa versus Python's in there. You know. But, um, yeah, I didn't know this guy actually got a home release. And uh, so I was like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> it's pretty fun. Uh, next is another movie I, f I got from a little back in the day. Um, another movie I saw uh, at the theater and I really liked. And so I saw it there. I picked it up. And that's Ben Affleck and Shirley Theron in Reindeer Games. Uh, yeah. Uh, with Gary Sinise, and, um, this is a good movie, and this, I really like this movie, too, I thought it was really well done, um, uh, um, Ben Affleck's really good in this, and so is Gary Sinise, he always plays a good ba bad guy, uh, Gary does, um, he plays good good guys, but he plays some pretty good bad guys, too, and he definitely is bad in this movie, so, um, Reindeer Games from a few years back, okay, and I picked up What Women Want. Uh, this is a movie that me and Lori saw together. I believe we saw this together. I saw this. Uh, if not, I, I, got, I went ahead and... Uh, yeah, I believe we saw this when it came out. Charming movie. We saw this at the Farmington Civic. Yeah, I do remember this. Uh, we saw this at the Farmington Civic. So... All right, I got two seasons. Well, I got the three. I got the Slayers, the second season, but I found this. Uh, I found the I found the third season of Castle. I got the first season, and and now I got the third season. So, with a flip cover, nonetheless. Uh, Nathan Fillion from uh. Serenity, and now The Rookie, and uh, Stanya Katik, Kat, Kat, let's see, uh, yeah, uh, do you know these guys, at, by the end of the show, I think the show ran for 
eight or nine years. They said by like the end of the sixth season, they hated each other. The actors, they hated each other. They wouldn't really, they had a hard time continuing the show because they just didn't like each other. It's not, that's just bizarre as hell for me. That's a good question to ask some of these actors, though. It's like, have you ever acted with anybody you just wanted to punch in the nose? No. Inspiration. And then the centerpiece from this hall, uh, for, as far as I'm concerned, the centerpiece in the hall was the first season of Crossing Jordan with Joe Hennessy. I love this show. The show was so good. Uh, Miguel Ferreira was in it. He played her boss. Um, we also had uh, Steve Valentine was in it. I played her quirky assistant. This is a very good series. Ken, Ken Howard was her dad. Um, Joe Hennessy, as many of you know, got, uh, did uh, Law and Order. Um, she played Jill Kincaid until her character was killed off. I want to say she did she did that before she did Crossy Jordan. And that might have been one of the reasons why Dick Wolf killed her off. Dick Wolf, if he doesn't like if he doesn't like his women characters, he kills them off. Um, so yeah, uh, what's really uh, remarkable about this too was when it came out was the music involved in the in the film was created by Wendy and Lisa, which were Prince protégés at the time. So that is my library hall. Um, got some animation, got some old classics, got a couple of new movies. And it got some TV series. So all in all, it was a pretty good job uh, for myself. I got all those for 12 bucks all in. Um, no, 13 because I got the Corpse Bride uh, at the last minute. So $13 for all those. So I was pretty happy with that. And um, yeah. So how did I do, John? And asking John from Platex 2 Jonathan, our good friend Jonathan from Platex 2 How did I do? I hope I did well. Um, uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, we will see you later tonight for our interview with P actress Polly Shannon. I can tell you right now, that is going to be a very fun interview. Um, I can't wait. Um, thanks for watching. And if you're watching this, please give us a sub. We're, uh, we're 66 away from uh, 500. We're driving for five. So anything that you can do to help us out, that'd be awesome. Including share us out. Um, uh, that'd be awesome as well. Leave a comment, hit the bell. And, um, yep, thanks so much. Until the next one, peace.